Cheryl. Coaching his 301st game as a collegiate head football coach. And kicking off Brent Smith. We are underway on a beautiful day in Starkville, Mississippi. This is the starting quarterback. Boyle, first play from scrimmage, brought down in the backfield. Here comes some pressure. Royals pass is caught on that far side by Zach Fletcher, and he has a lot of room. Fletcher now has nothing but goal lines and headlines in front of him. Touchdown, Alabama, 86 yards. This is a defense that needs to make some plays today. Missed tackles will hurt them as we've already seen. Second and very short, Sean Williams gets the first down, down to the 17 yard line. First and 10 for the tie. Troyle to throw it, pass is caught. Over the middle, plenty of room for pro throw. Touchdown, Alabama. Tyrone pro throws first. Touchdown reception as a member of the Crimson Tide, and it goes for 17 yards. So second down and four. Still a pretty good situation for the Bulldogs. Fant will throw, but here comes some pressure. Fant will step it up and run it. Fant first down and a lot more than that. Out to the 40-yard line, and Derek Pope finally runs him down. A gain of 22. Four-man front for Alabama. Little option play, bad pitch by Fant. Norwood falls on it. That'll be a loss of about five for the Bulldogs. Brandon Brooks on the return for Alabama. Brooks sat over the 30 to the 33 yard line. So second down and four now, handoff to Hudson. Hudson needs to get to the 43-yard line. Through all the ups and downs, he's a guy that has taken full advantage of his scholarship. He's a good student, a good football player, just a good guy. Ray Hudson will pick up the first down on third and short. They say the combines are drooling over him in the NFL. Royal pass is caught. That may be... Shy of the first down. That is going to be very close to a first down marker. They may have to bring the chains in. Lance Taylor made the reception. Eighth play already of this drive. Ray Hudson gets it to the 35. I imagine we might see shot here in the next play or two. Fresh legs. You know how dangerous he can be on third and two. Pass is caught by Dre Fulgham inside the 30. That'll be an Alabama first down. 39-yard field goal from Brian Bostic. He's 14 of 20 in the field goal department this year, along of 48 from the right hash mark. Hits it well. Oh. Off the upright, no good. off to Nick Turner, flagged down at the 26-yard line on the near side of the field. <laughs> that could be uh, one of those plays that uh, Jackie Sherrill will write down in his little uh, yeah. notepad. It's called lining up in the neutral zone. A couple of tight ends in the game. Hand off. Goes to Nick Turner, sophomore out of Atlanta, Georgia. He'll probably be moved back to a guard spot next year. So Mississippi State will put it away. Jared Cook gets a, another spiral off. Brandon Brooks stands at the 20. Brooks turns the corner. Brandon Brooks to the 49. So not uncommon for two alums to meet each other. Here's Sean Williams to the 40. First down, Alabama. First down and 10 for the tide, high formation. We'll play action, Royal under pressure. Has a lot of running room. 
he will step out of bounds. First down for Alabama. Pressure came from Ronald Fields, but couldn't get his ball on him. Well, he's only about 100 yards shy now of crossing 3,000 for his career if you count Texas Tech. His replacement, Ray Hudson, gets it inside the 20. This one will be 38 yards from, once again, the right hash. That's what gave him trouble last time. Bad snap. This kick is up and good. Nice work by that Alabama special teams unit. And now Mississippi State will return the kick of Kyle Robinson. And this kick will sail into the end zone, and Fred Reed will bring it out. Reed slicing his way to the 16-yard line. And we had a flag on that kickoff, and Doyle Jackson will explain it. That was an illegal block in the back by the returning team. Penalty will be half the distance to the goal. We follow the foul, followed by first down. When you look at the rest of the offense, you say, golly, he's got 50 catches coming into this game. Well, he's a go-to guy. You get a lot of confidence in him. Fant sacked inside the five. Antoine Odom, the first man on the spot, followed up by Dominic Lee. Boy, now if you're Alabama, you're going to put pressure and you're going to get the ball back in great field position. Jared Cook gets the punt off, nearly blocked. Brooks will let it bounce, and Alabama will take over inside Mississippi State territory. They missed a field goal on that first drive and then connected on the last drive. The power football from the Crimson Tide takes it inside the 40. Ray Hudson will be close to the first down marker, and I think he did get the first down. What do you do when you give him some life and they get field position here if he doesn't complete this pass or, or run for a first down? Coral under pressure, fires, pass is oh. caught, and it could go for six. It will. Zach Fletcher for the second time today. The first one was 86 yards on third and 16. This one was fourth and six. It's a line drive kick, not too good. It will bounce, and Brooks will pick it up and stop in his tracks. I want that guy up in front. I want him to jam him, hold him, move through the football. Flag down. Coyle will scramble. Coyle out over the 50 and will slide down after he picks up the first down. No need to rest him at this point. Coyle to throw it. And there's Fuller, picks it off, and there's the turnover the Bulldogs desperately needed. But flags go flying. Boy, Ooh. 263 to 34 in total yards. My goodness. Oh, man. Sacked again inside the 10 yard line this time. Well, this will be the last play of the half. Norwood trying to get around the corner. And another flag. That is a dead ball. Late hit, personal foul, out of bounds by the defense. Penalty is 15 yards from the out of bounds spot with an automatic first down. You see the defense sit up there, Dave. They're 10 yards off the line of scrimmage and long. York. Fires over the middle, passes caught. Loose football recovered by Nick Signiago, but that will do it for the first half. But that was the best and biggest play for Mississippi State to this point, and it still involved a fumble that they had to recover. Jared Cook continuing it on. Mississippi State uses that double punt. They have two punters they like to use. Robert Wallace, Jared Cook. Today it's Jared Cook's turn. Here's Brandon Brooks, who had a nice few returns in the opening half. John Williams in at tailback. Tim Castile, the fullback. And the pitch is to Williams. Nowhere to run for Shaw. And he's run out of bounds by Jason Clark. Actually, they will move the ball into Mississippi State territory at the 44. That was a dead ball. Personal foul by the defense. Penalty is 15 yards from the end of the run, followed by first down. So here we go. Third down and 11. The tied four of seven on third downs today. Croyle. Under pressure, goes down at the 41-yard line. Tommy Kelly, the senior out of Jackson, Mississippi. First punt of the day for Alabama, and it's Bo Freeland back to do the honors. 
high kick. Sails down to the 13-yard line of Nick Turner with his juggling act. So, and his running game hasn't helped much. Uh, Mississippi State only has 10 yards on the ground today. And under pressure again, he goes down. Well, Dave, it's like a wave coming back at him. He you have to credit Alabama. I mean, they are playing hard football, still coming after them, a lot of effort. Man. Flushed out of the pocket again. Pass batted nearly into the hands of Ray Ray Bibbins, and a flag comes down at the 30 yard line. Foul is pass interference by the defense. Penalty is 15 yards from the previous spot, followed by an automatic first down. A lot of twists when the tackles exchange, the tackle end situation. First and ten now, Fan again. This time, Jarius Norwood, he's run out of bounds. Nick Turner in the game now on third, down and three. Fan pass is caught to Ray Ray Bivens. And that will be a first down. Charlie Pepra on the coverage. Roman Harper second on the team with 90 tackles. A little bit of a reverse. Here's Omar Connor. We expected to see the true freshman. And here he goes, Omar Connor. Down to the 37 yard line. The true freshman out of Macon, Mississippi. Coaches say he will move back to quarterback after this season, but he was too good of an athlete to not use somewhere on the field. Here's a little screen pass to Nick Turner that's eaten up by the Bama defense. It's Connor in motion. On second down at 16. Fan goes down. Boy, that didn't take very long. But I think Shaw just getting a little bored over, bored over there and wanted, wanted some action. Let me have one time there. A high kick. Shaw calls for a fair catch at the 11-yard line, and that is where Alabama will take over. A 38-yard punt. Shaw Williams. Slices his way through that Mississippi State defense, and he picks up a first down. Here's Shaw to Williams. And he will drive his way for another Alabama first down out to the 38-yard line. Kevin Dockery finally brings him down. And it was a very tough time for everybody here at uh, Mississippi State, but the coach would say that he has uh, been inspired since he has returned. It's Ray Hudson picks up another Alabama first down. Johnny Wadley, an offensive lineman, and Kevin Dockery, two uh, guys that are very close to Del Juan. They, they were going to go to the funeral, which was the Saturday of the Kentucky game two weeks ago. They passed up the side to play football in honor of their friend. Ray Hudson, close to a first down. Coaches say that he quite doesn't understand how you have to play every single yeah. play. Here's Williams. And that will be... Probably a first down. If he got to the 39, it will be a first down. Castillo in motion. Royal will throw it over the middle. Has his target down at the 20-yard line. It's Dre Fulgham, the senior. Just a well-timed pass. Royal inside the 20. Greg McLean. It's only McLean's third catch of the year. Shaw to Williams and the Alabama Tide. The Crimson Tide win that battle. Your coach is telling you just control it on the ground, and they have. Shaw to Williams. Touchdown, Alabama, the 12th of the year on the ground for Shaw Williams. It matches their longest drive of the year in terms of number of plays. They had 15 play 90 yard drive in the opener against South Florida. Brad Reed, nice return to the 48 yard line. Great story, Buzz. Nick Signiago with a nice catch. Fankin gets hit once again. I think he's been knocked to the ground about 12 times today. 13. Flag down as Fant slings it out of bounds, and they throw a flag for grounding, but 
Nick Turner was standing right there. I don't know how that could be grounding. All right. Well, Doyle, what do you got? Three fouls on the play. Three. We have all sides <laughs> by the defense. Intentional grounding by the offense. These, these offset. Then there's a dead ball. Personal foul by the offense. Fifteen yards from the previous spot. Still first down. They're just frustrated right now, so you're trying to do something a little bit extra. Pass is caught, but out of bounds, I believe. Now, what would have happened if Nick... They will say it's a complete pass. He has made a lot of calls today. The foul is an illegal crackback block by the offense. Penalty is 15 yards from the spot of the foul, repeating the first down. Garrett Cook. Good kick. Nice tight wow. spiral it sends. Brooks off the football and into the end zone. Mississippi State set to return the Crimson Tide punt. It's a high kick. Nick Turner back to return it. Takes it and spins out of a couple of tackles, but losing a lot of yardage. Still on his feet. Gets a great block. Back to midfield. He ran 50 yards for a two-yard return. <laughs> However, if Georgia stays at 10, Tennessee's at 16, Florida's at 17, it doesn't matter. Georgia's the highest-ranked BCS team. Hopefully, that makes sense to you. It does to me. And I, McKinley Scott with it. But it, it's going to be interesting. I mean, I think it's, I think it's exciting for uh, the SEC. On fourth and three. Pass knocked down at the line of scrimmage by Naughton McKay Losher. Well, they're going to build a new a new coach, and the, and the program is going to change, and you got new direction, so you want to play hard. You're going to build a new coach. I like that. Well. <laughs> that hit a Mississippi State player. Did Alabama recover? It's still loose. The Bulldogs have it at the nine. This cupboard's not bare. It's not like no. you're coming in and, uh, you know, you've got high expectations of winning maybe one or two ball games next year. Been a very professional group, and uh, they're to be commended, even though they're on the short end of the score, for the way they're going about it. Fan. Looks like backyard football now. Here's Omar Connor. This guy's a great athlete. That'll be a first down. That looked like some of the intramural football <laughs> games I played in when I was at ATO at Florida State. <laughs> Came in three and six, one and four in league play. They got to win out if they want to go seven and six in Shula's opening campaign. And they came in today oh. ready to play it, and that is picked off. Picked off by Chris James, normally a special team standout. He's blocked three punts right here from Starkville, Mississippi. <laughs> Tim Castile on the carry. And on fourth down and three, Alabama will go for it to try to pick up the first down and keep, keep the clock moving. Pennington's pass is caught. And Alabama will pick up the first down and a lot more than that as Greg McClain takes it inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal. You know, Mark Rick admittedly made some mistakes and learned from them. And look where Georgia is now. And I think Mike Shula, every game, is learning how to be a head coach. A very similar demeanor. Castile, touchdown, Alabama. His first touchdown of the season. Alabama to kick off. Swift kick. Fielded by Nick Turner at the 20-yard line. Look at Nick Turner out over the 40. Nick still on his feet, the midfield, and then some good return. And he was like, man, this is time for us to play some defense and quit scheming and quit crying and whining and just go out there and hit somebody. Yeah, he'll get a cake from his mama this week. <laughs> <laughs> and that will probably do it. Joe Kynes will get the shutout. And he will be very happy with that, as will all the Alabama folks with a 38 to nothing win. Jackie Sherrill, 20 more days as the head coach of Mississippi State. But Alabama wins for the first time since 1994, snapping a three-game losing skid to Mississippi State here in Starkville. Alabama wins it 38 to nothing.
We'll return after a word from your local stations.